it didn't die, but it just cut off on me on my way here. So I was on the phone with the people and they said, OK, now get a different one because this one is out of service. Every day this time of year, Joshua here rides a pedal assisted city bike from his home in the Bronx to Brooklyn Bridge Park to play basketball. It's hard to even get bikes. And for the first time in his three years using the system as his primary mode of transportation, Joshua started to encounter entire city bike stations without a single bicycle. Just take another bus and go like maybe five miles to another one. This isn't a problem that we're seeing as like a months long problem, but certainly a point in time pain point. City Bike General Manager Laura Fox attributes part of the recent rebalancing challenges, a moving of bikes around the city via truck that takes place 24 hours a day, to a massive surge in ridership. June was City Bike's uh, best month ever. The system experienced nearly 3.5 million rides in June, a 22% increase from the same month a year ago. We see a lot of new commuting and trip patterns that are taking place. Um, and so that does bring on like new kind of rebalancing challenges to make sure that, you know, stations have enough bikes and docks available for riders. It's been pretty empty, I guess. Riders like Pemba here, new to the city and exploring Manhattan via city bike from the Upper East Side, the system's rebalancing team knows well. But daily rides like Joshua's traversing three boroughs and multiple bridges and made possible by the addition of e-bikes require some recalibrating of which stations need the most bikes and when. In response to more total rides and more riders riding more new routes, City Bike hired more staff to redistribute the system's 25,000 bicycles to the places that need them most. Definitely in the Bronx. And Fox expects City Bike, one of the largest bike share systems in the world, to soon solve this most recent empty station problem until some future system expansion or further spike in ridership creates a new rebalancing challenge. On the Upper East Side, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.